Good morning students. So I am making a video on the lessons that we've been working on for the last three weeks so that if you need support and help you can refer back to this. You can also have mom and dad sit with you. Um, you will need a pencil, a ruler, and um, paper. You are welcome to come down to the art studio and pick up whatever paper. So this is all about Chuck Close and the photograph that you see here, um, self photograph is Chuck Close. And um, there are videos posted in Google Classroom. That was your homework assignment for you to watch. If you can't do it from your computer, there's nothing to say that you don't. Sit down with mom and dad. Uh, the one video was done by CBS Morning News, Sunday Morning News, I believe. So it's totally appropriate. And I think your parents would enjoy learning about him as much as you. Um, I am going to also pick up my computer, my iPad, and I'm going to scan over here to, oh gosh, let me step back. What I've written on the board. Um, use a ruler to identify measurements of space. Space is an art element, just like line, color, shape, form, texture, shape. Space is an understanding in art. To measure any space, you need to know where and understand how to find zero. And it's basically where you begin and where you're going and how far and how to be accurate. You are doing a one inch square grid on your photocopy. You're doing a one and one eighth inch on your drawing paper. So the drawing is going to be bigger than the photocopy. This is all just review. We've talked about this for the last three lessons. When you are measuring, it's important that you travel up the ruler that you also travel across the paper, traveling across that space vertically and horizontally, or up or across, um, and that you make multiple marks. If you only make two marks, you are not identifying accuracy or checking to make sure that you're accurate. That third mark is super important. I had some students this week saying that it was a waste of time to check for accuracy and what happens is you end up having to repeat the whole thing because of one layer of inaccuracy affects everything else. The ruler always goes in the hand you don't draw with. It will move from that side of the paper to the marks. You need to keep that in mind. Um, and you always start on the left side with your mark making just like reading a book. And you've got to know where zero is, so you start zero where your measurements begin. Um, you need to number those lines because that's going to help you with identifying the space vertically and horizontally when you're transferring the image from the photocopy to your paper. All right, so here we go. And I'm going to move this back to the paper hoping it'll be still. Super. All right, so that you can see here, I've started zero. And I've started across. The zero begins at the edge of the image, not just randomly anywhere where you decide because you wanna make sure that you are being straight and you're being accurate as you travel across and vertically, all right? So this is actually an, a photocopy of Chuck Close and I am transferring him to the bigger paper. You can see the difference in the size. 10 is here because this is one inch squares. 10 is here higher up because this is one and one eighth. You might think one and one eighth is not a big difference and it's not a big difference. But this is the skill that Chuck Close would use to create massive images images as big as the whiteboard from a photocopy. All right, so I've showed you what you're doing and I'm gonna repeat the process and I'm gonna use my own photocopy here, okay? And I'm also gonna use here. Now, um, 
again, as a reminder, this is the ruler. Da, 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 da. You need to know where zero is. Let's slide it over here. And where the one inch marks. So every mark is traveling very accurately. That mark is small. So you're not making a mark that travels up the ruler. You're making a mark that mirrors the mark on the ruler. And I'm gonna show you what that means. Okay. So I'm actually gonna do it on the white paper because I think you'll see it better. So I'm gonna get a new sheet of white paper. The very first thing you need to do is establish zero. You can just do that by lining up the ruler to the edge of the paper. I'm gonna get the original one off, out of the way. All right, so here we go. Now, I want this edge here to line up with this edge on the bottom of the paper. That is my baseline for zero, okay? And um, so this is my first mark. That will be zero. Let's see if you can see it. Yay, you can. All right, now I'm gonna check. So this is one and one and a half, just to make sure that it's balanced all the way across the paper. Now, my measurements for here is one and one eighth inches and that's going to be traveling vertically and horizontally. Don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna slide this over here. All right, vertically and horizontally. Now, I also need to establish a zero line traveling up my paper. So I'm just gonna do a one inch mark one thing you need to know about reading a ruler is you need to know where zero is. Zero is not always the edge of the ruler. You can see here, the zero starts a little further into the ruler. So I'm gonna line up zero to the edge of the paper and I'm gonna travel out to one, okay? Now, I'm gonna do that three times so I'm traveling, I'm keeping zero on zero, which is the edge of the paper, and I'm just gonna travel out, and I'm gonna do that three times. As we discussed over the last three weeks, those three marks are going to let you know it's gonna be your backup to make sure that you are being accurate, okay? So as I've done that, I want to create my zero line to come down and to go up, Remember, the ruler goes in the hand you don't write with because the other hand's got the pencil, all right? This is always gonna travel from whatever side you're holding it to those marks. So right now it's off the paper and it's going to move over to the marks. If one of my marks was not accurate and I've done the three or four or five or how many you want to do, two will never tell you that you're being accurate. But if you have a third mark, if there was a mark that was wrong, it will not connect to the ruler. To keep that ruler stationary, you're gonna press the ruler down with your hand, stretch it out. You always drag that pencil toward your body. That way, the ruler has less chance to slide around. So now I've labeled both lines vertically and horizontally zero. Now I can start doing my measurement. And remember that measurement is one and one eighth. When you're looking at a ruler, and I'm gonna draw this on the board. When you're looking at a ruler, one inch is divided up in multiple marks. Many rulers only have eight marks, but some rulers, like this ruler, da, 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 where is it on the, this ruler, let's see, it's got 16 marks within the inch. Okay, and so 
you can actually see that on the ruler, 1 over 16. So there's 16 marks on here. So you need to know where 1 and 1 eighth is. So there's halves, there's quarters, and then there's eighths. And if you even go further, there's 16. So I just drew, if you were looking at a um, yardstick, you would not see 1 over 16. You would see 1 over 8, or most yardsticks. Okay, our wooden yardsticks are that way. Now, here we go. So I'm going to find 0 on my ruler, and I'm going to put it on 0. Now, this can be done very quickly if you are traveling up 0. So I'm going to go to 1 and one eighth. My line is echoing the line that's on the ruler. I'm keeping my ruler on zero. Make my mark. Keeping my line on zero. Make the mark. Move the ruler over from whatever side you're holding the ruler. Checking to make sure that the ruler can connect to all of those marks and then draw your line. I'm even gonna go back and double check. Checking for accuracy is super important. These are the skills that as an artist, uh, if you're an architect, if you are a designer, if you're a graphic designer, if you're an interior designer, if you're an architect, if you're an engineer, if you're a mathematician. Um, art skills are used in all aspects of life. Art skills, are meant for you to express life and building things is just part of life so now I'm moving to my next one now if you're doing the math and you're eighth grade so you should be able to do the math so I can do one and one eighth and two and a quarter and I can even check to make sure that that's accurate yes it is and so I can slide my ruler up. Now you can see this mark here is a little wonky. I need to be better at making my marks. Paying attention to what's happening on your paper is going to help you with building your grid. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm just gonna go in and finish building this grid. And you'll be able to see that it can be done relatively easily and quickly. Now I could do the math and push it out even further. So it would be one, two, three eighths. But if you're not comfortable with that, then just do, oh, I said I was gonna stop talking. But hey, I'm, I can do both things at once. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, I'm not gonna stop talking. I am gonna. I am gonna continue to talk. Um, one of the things that you want to make sure that you're doing is realizing that the pencil is going to create a little bit of space. So when you're lining up the ruler, you don't want to be on the dots, you want to be right next to the dots. Okay. And remember, each line is going to have a number. So this is one and one eighth inch. You know these parentheses is the symbol for inches. This is number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Those numbers are gonna help you know where you are in the photograph Okay, and then how to transfer that information into your artwork.
Now, as far as the face is concerned, why does this matter? Because if your measurements are not accurate, then the information that you transfer also will not be transferred accurately. So your nose will not be in the proper placement. Now, to get my measurements going up this paper, I'm gonna turn the paper. And I'm again, I'm gonna begin at zero. And I'm gonna start at this end because this is my beginning. And again, it's one and a quarter. I mean, one and, oh my gosh, one and one eighth. Now I could keep going. Four, one, two, three, four. Once you understand the math, then you can you can expand the math. This is all multiplication happening here. Okay. So again, you're gonna mark it three times, and I want to mark it on a line. So one and an eighth, two and a quarter, three and three eighths four and okay And you might even, yeah, okay, good, good. Now I'm a little wonky here, so I need to edit that. It's because I didn't drag my pencil all the way down. So remember, we will be cleaning this up. Yeah, much better. So mathematicians, Artists, scientists, engineers, architects, landscape, technicians, everybody, you need, you need these skills. Let's say you were a plumber, you'd need to know how long the pipes are, how you're gonna make them vertically straight. Now my pencil is getting a little um, soft, so I've moved to a sharper pencil. These drafting skills are skills that can be used in so many levels of life. Let's say you wanted to put a swimming pool in your backyard. You would need to know how much space to block out if you were gonna put it straight in the space or if your swimming pool was gonna be wonky and at an angle. So understanding measurements in all aspects of design, super duper important. And once you understand and know the skill, you will be able to use it in so many aspects of life, it's important. Now, if we, were, if we were intentionally wanting our face to be abstract, we could stretch it out and change our measurements so they wouldn't be. So right now we're trying to do a realistic. So, and again, numbering out one, two, just like on the ruler, those numbers are not randomly placed. They are actually placed with the line, just like you see on this ruler. All right, and of course, you're gonna do the same thing on the photograph, but the difference is this is one inch 
and this is one and one eighth. All right, I hope this helps. Parents, if you wanna partake, your um, artist in eighth grade can also bring home a piece of paper. Again, you will need a pencil, a ruler, checking for accuracy, traveling, understanding where zero is, traveling away from zero, vertically, horizontally, and checking for accuracy. All right, let's get this done so next week we can start being creative with transferring the information to the drawing paper and then exploring what we're gonna do with those faces with either color or mark making. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see the end results. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, bye.